Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. Dog and I are heading off to the Okefenokee Swamp for a few days of camping on this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day. Here on, uh, what is it, Tuesday, April 13th. Uh, 2021. So little dog, I'm I'm sorry. I've got to uh, get this off my chest. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm running a couple of hours late towards my camping trip because of these goddamn motherfuckers. This power hungry motherfucking little Nazi fucking asshole down there in fucking St. Croix. Uh, Un-fucking believable. Dealing, uh, dealing with, you know, coming up against these motherfucking uh, little power-hungry, uh, just, what, you know the goddamn type I'm talking about. These fucking little limp dick motherfuckers, they're usually men, usually fucking men. Uh, you know, I have spent how many fucking hours have uh, I spent uh, 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 over the past couple of days lining up trying to get a little Sancho Panza dog. Uh, Sancho's, uh, probably Sancho's kid sister Snowflake delivered over here from St. Croix. A, you know, I was the reason we, I couldn't just go down there and pick up the fucking dog is, is because of this corona panic bullshit. So I have spent uh, the past two to three days uh, in, in, in a more complicated fucking uh, negotiation to get this goddamn dog uh, put on a fucking airplane and shipped over here to the mainland from St. Croix. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I worked a hell of a lot harder than, than I on putting together the brokering this fucking deal than, than I than I did on a lot of motherfucking real estate deals, uh, putting twenty thousand dollars in my fucking pocket. And unbelievable. I, I have been dealing with, uh, let's see, I, from St. Croix to Atlanta to New Jersey, emailing, phone calling, uh, just unbelievable. Uh, putting this, uh, pu putting the, the, this fucking thing uh, together. So I had, let's see. I had my friend in New Jersey, of course, who is actually adopting the dog. Uh, Donna up there in New Jersey, who's been waiting like three years for her own Sancho dog. So we had Donna, she was all lined up. Then I had the two, uh, what, what I thought were the two queen bees uh, in St. Croix at, at the fucking at the fucking animal shelter. I'm assuming one of them was the oldest white woman who worked there. I'm not sure that one of them was the oldest white woman who worked there. So I had what I thought were the uh, were the, the top two guns in St. Croix. Uh, it did full support uh, uh, of uh, getting Snowflake uh, you know, shipped over for Donna to, to adopt. They were totally on board with this, but they told me the whole key uh, depended on this woman in Atlanta, Georgia, that she had to fucking uh, instigate the process. She was the one who uh, had to make the call to bring the fucking dog over to Atlanta. Then I was going to intercept the dog in Atlanta and drive it to New Jersey, you know, on my way back to, to New York. So uh, there began a, a, a whole nother layer of this. 
So uh, I, had, I thought I had taken it as far as I could and was pretty much given up uh, by five o'clock yesterday because I was supposed to be on the fucking road over two hours ago on the way to the Okefenokee Swamp. Then the woman in Atlanta, the I, I, I'm 99% sure is the oldest white woman who, uh, who works at the place in Atlanta, called me at home last night. Uh, an absolute sweetheart, and uh, she was what uh, a, a strong Southern woman who obviously takes no bullshit. And uh, so Tina, that was her name. So Tina says, "Rest assured, we will get both of those." She was talking both of the dogs. That uh, I I have the case now. And uh, and I plan to meet me in Atlanta on uh, April 25th, and I will pass the dogs off to you. Everything. When I hung up, that we were on the phone for 30 minutes planning the, the, this whole fucking uh, meeting in Atlanta. We had this whole thing lined up, and when she hung up, she said that she would call her counterpart in St. Croix, uh, who was not one of these women, but, but some fucking dude named Jimmy. Uh, you know, she was going to tell Jimmy uh, to put those dogs on the plane. And, and, and it just sounded like that Jimmy just, you know, just rubber stamp because, uh, because the, the, you know, the two queen bees at the shelter had already told uh, me and Donna that, that she had the dog. Uh, she could have one or both of them. And uh, so I, I tried to call Tina this morning and I uh, couldn't get her. So I called down there and, and, and uh, asked to speak to this motherfucker, Jimmy, j just to make sure that we were all on board and this motherfucker, a after all of this, all of this fucking work, everybody in line with this, Five people spread out from fucking St. Croix uh, to Atlanta to New Jersey. Uh, every one of us on board putting this whole fucking negotiation uh, together and the motherfucker whose job it is to put the fucking dog on the plane basically told me in, in, in so many words that hell is going to freeze over before he puts either one of those dogs on the plane. I, uh, you know, I, I was, I was saying, well, let's at least split the fucking ticket. Uh, keep one of the dogs and, and, and send out, uh, and, and send out the other one. No way that I'm going to put either one of those dogs on the plane. That they, they, I mean, he was a motherfucker. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I know the type. Uh, but because he's also uh, a native of Atlanta, the, the Atlanta connection. So I'm talking to this dude. He's a white dude. Now everybody in this, uh, everybody in, in this whole fucking negotiation are white folks. All right. So you know, I, I was getting madder and madder, and, and 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 I and I finally said, Jimmy, just man to man, cut the fucking shit brother and and tell me what the what the fucking bone you have up your fucking ass over this and and we fucking got into it and and here is what he told me the reason that he is not going to put either one of those dogs uh on 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 that goddamn airplane and and, and that is this that uh St. Croix uh, is 85% black and 15% white. That there is, you know, that the, the simmering, you know, I lived down there for 10 months 
and uh, if, if you've ever, what was that book, uh, something about stopping the carnival, or I can't, what was the name of that book, talking about uh, all of this that nobody wants to talk about it is this goddamn simmering uh, hostility between the the black folks and the white folks down on those islands you know where 85 percent of the residents probably control 15 percent of the wealth while the other 15 percent of the population meaning the honkies owned 85 percent of the wealth you know joe biden has a fucking mansion down there on this island and uh, so, so I anyway, there, there, there's all of this claim, and I don't know. Uh, is, is it true or not that there is this simmering hostility between the, uh, the you know, the black folks? You know, we're talking about, no doubt, the people who, who uh, shovel the shit uh, out of the dog runs, and, and they are claiming that all of the good dogs, you know, the, the, the cool little dogs like Sancho are that they are shipping them out to honkies uh, over on the mainland. That they are not letting uh, the, you know, the folks on the island uh, get these dogs. Uh, and so, because of this perception, uh, but, you know, that, this, that, that uh, it is, it is uh, you know, the white man, whatever, uh, do, do, you know, it, it's a fucking white man's world that, the, the, you know, the rich honkies uh, in, in fucking New Jersey or uh, Austin, Texas or New York, they get all the cute little fluffy dogs and, and they leave all, all the uh, street dogs, all the ghetto dogs, you know, the pit bulls. Like any other uh, uh, animal shelter pretty much on the planet, if you go on to St. Croix and you look at the available dogs, it's over 90% uh, of the dogs uh, available uh, uh, in St. Croix are, are these goddamn pit bull street dogs that nobody fucking wants. And so they end up killing them. Uh, you know, they, so they, they kill all, all of these uh, fucking uh, ghetto street dogs uh, that end up in the, in the pound and, and they ship off all of the fluffy little cute dogs like Sancho Panza uh, or like, like in my case, you know, when I was living down there, that, that honky, get, honky gets all of the good dogs and, uh, and uh, y y you know, everybody else gets to divide up the pit bulls. So he, he just basically told me that uh, no white person, that nobody on the mainland is going to get either one of these dogs and uh, that uh, he cannot get, you know, cause he is, a, you know, here he is. Uh, he sound like he's about my age, you, you know, this white man, uh, li you know, from Atlanta with the southern accent, the white male with the southern accent, and uh, he is not going to let those fucking dogs go, uh, so I, 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 I don't know what, uh, wh what he's thinking, so anyway, he told me that hill was going to freeze over uh, before some white woman in New Jersey uh, was going to get either one of these dogs. And, uh, you know, as I let him know that uh, this white woman in New Jersey was going to provide that little dog with, with, uh, with the best home uh, on this planet, that I, I said, Snowflake, uh, you know, she will be absolutely spoiled, pampered, and, uh, and, and farm the other dog out. Uh, you know, down there to somebody who, who lives on the fucking island. 
Uh, I, I said, you don't give a shit about the best welfare of this dog, brother. Uh, I, I said, you don't give a flying fuck uh, about the best interests of this little dog. And you fucking know it. You're a spineless little fucking chicken shit, a uh, little bean counting, a uh, uh, little fucking, uh, uh, I, oh God, I, fuck, I wish I had, uh, I had recorded it. And uh, he said, have a good day, sir. Click. So I think it's safe to say uh, I have rent, I have, we have sprung the last little Sancho dog uh, from the Pokey in St. Croix that, uh, you know, the old racist uh, honkies, those racist rich honkies over here on the mainland, uh, Jesus fucking Christ, uh, the, the, the never-ending fucking bullshit over this, uh, de dealing with this goddamn bullshit. Uh, if the fucking corona panic uh, won't get you, the, the goddamn race wars will. And uh, what is the name of that book? Stop the Carnival or something. The most spot on uh, book that, you know, about what's going on uh, in, the, in the Caribbean that none of these little politically correct, little limp dick liberals uh, are willing to talk about. Uh, when, uh, you know, when Mad Max uh, gets released down there, 100%. Uh, of, of everything on that uh, on those islands on every one of those islands are 100 percent dependent on uh, these cargo ships bringing everything in there the, the, those damn cargo ships don't make their deliveries of uh, you, you know food fuel all of that uh, you are gonna see fucking Mad Max it, it, it is a simmering stew pot down there. Uh, you know, 300 pounds of pent up rage uh, down there, uh, building up uh, with 85% uh, uh, of the population down there. Uh, so, I don't know, you be the judge. Uh, I, 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 I guess this, see, I, I never did even get into that goddamn bullshit story of, of what happened when I was down there uh, trying to help this uh, white dude uh, get a foreclosure uh, where they foreclosed on this house, uh, you, you know, against this uh, black. Uh, well, it, it was against a black woman. She was divorced. She was okay. Uh, you know, she had already moved out of the house. And, and then her ex-husband found out that some rich honky uh, from, uh, from Virginia, uh, you know, living down there in a beautiful home in St. Croix, w was trying to get hold of the... Uh, uh, of this house that the bank had foreclosed on. My God, uh, I, 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 I never even got into that fucking story because if I knew, if I did, I would end up uh, getting my fucking channel ripped down. Uh, Unfucking believable. Uh, anyway, mark my fucking words, you are going to read about Mad Max breaking out uh, on one or more of those islands in the Caribbean, uh, you know, with uh, bullshit like this going on. What, what, what a fucking way to live. Anyway, uh, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times, and I uh, highly advise you get out there and find your own little uh, Sancho dog on this side of the pond. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ.
What a fucking world we live in. What a fucked up world. Bye, guys.